How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're going to look at five keys that are heating up. Some going up by quite a bit, 200%. Yes, 200%. And some of these are on here because of you guys. You guys comment below and I look through the comments and try to find ones that fit and then put them on here. But, you know, one of them I made an exception on uh, just because I was kind of, kind of blown away by that it was still going up and never faltered really. So we'll take a look at that book. Let's get right into it. So first up is Spider-Man, uh, number one. This is the gold UPC, so it's the new stand edition. That's also the gold edition. I believe they sold these in Walmart only as a new stand. Now, normally I only show ones that are going up, but someone subscribed and said that they wanted to have this book on here. And so I figured I'd show you kind of what it looks like, um, ones that don't really fit. And that's why I might not put them on my video. So if you look at a 9.4, uh, in the beginning of the year in January, it's selling for 7.17 on average. Now it's selling for 4.80. So that's down 33%. And a 9.6 is down 9% from 7.50 to 6.85. But the 9.8 just sold for a record price of 2,600 when back in January it's selling for 2,000. So that's up 30%. So yes, this is kind of what it looks like when someone sends something in and says, hey, David, can you look at this? And I'm like, oh, well, oh, wow. Yes, it's breaking a record at a 9.8. But then I look at the other grades, I'm like, oh, not doing too well. So what does this mean for this book? That means that people really want this book in a high grade. Uh, just probably too common in the 9.6s, 9.4s and stuff like that to really always command a new record price every time it sells. But this one in the 9.8, it doesn't, it's, it sells often, like probably once a month or close to it maybe a couple times a month, and it's still breaking records. Like if you look at that graph, it's just like, pfft, like straight up. So you can see where it got the comic book boom and it's, just, it's still going up from there. So it's kind of amazing where it was not too long ago, probably a couple years ago selling for less than half that. Like if you went back to like 2020 and things like that. So, I mean, this is a very iconic cover. This cover is iconic. Um, a lot of people say covers are iconic when they're not, but this one is if you want to know if a cover is iconic, just do you see posters of it? Do you see it on t-shirts? All that kind of stuff. Next, we got Ultimate Fallout 4. This is first appearance of Miles Morales. 9.4 up 6% from the beginning of the year at 5.68. Now it's only 600. A 9.6 up 4% from 799, 735. And a 9.8 is up 4% from the beginning of the year, 1828. Now selling for 1900. Um, so if you can look at the graph, it obviously started shooting up, come boom, all that kind of stuff. And then it started coming down. And then it kind of stopped. For the last, I would say, six months, as you can see, since pretty much like January, it's been pretty much flat. Like, yes, 4% up, 6%. That's not very much. Um, it's like a rounding error. Uh, so not really up across the board, just up a few percent. Um, so that movie, I would say the movie helped it in terms that a lot of comics, not all, but a lot of comics are dropping. And it helped it by staying flat. So that's good. So if you see other, uh, let's take another example of one, uh, Submariner, if you take Submariner number one, uh, that comic has dropped quite a bit. Or um, Thor 165, first full appearance of Adam Warlock, even though Adam Warlock was in Guardians and the Guardians movie did really well. I don't see that many people jazzed about Adam Warlock. I forget his, uh, his Polar or something. I I, I I don't, I forget the guy's name that plays the character, uh, but not too many people are super jazzed about Adam Warlock. So, you know, the book is still kind of dropping things like that. So this is where Miles Morales is at. Um, will it ever reach its highs of where it was like 3,200, 3,400? Eventually, I'm sure. I mean, there's, I know a video game coming out. There's obviously the other Spider-Verse coming out, things like that. It'll, it takes time. People want instant money for some reason. I don't know why. Um, well, I mean, I know why, but <laughs> I just, uh, they, it's the whole NFT Bitcoin thing. They're like, I buy it one day, next month it's worth 10X. That's how it works. It doesn't work that way. It never will. Uh, because if you buy it for 10X, the next person is trying to flip it for 10X. And then there's only so much money in the world. You can't just 10X it every single month. Next, we got Batman 251. This is a Neil Adams cover, classic cover of uh, the Joker, another iconic cover. 
Uh, 6.5 of 18 percent from 440 to 520. Uh, 8.5 is up 23 percent from a little over a thousand to 1300. And a 9.8 is up 200 percent, selling all time record for 33,000. Last one that sold was back in 2020, so three years ago, sold for 11,000. So massive, massive, massive jump on this book, up 200 percent from now. Obviously, that was two and a half, three years ago when the last one sold. So it's been a while, but as you can see, record price by a lot, not just a little bit. Like if you look back at the 11,000 sale, the one before that was just slightly lower, slightly lower, not very much, but just to zoom way up there. Very, very cool cover, by the way, I like this book a lot. So there are records being broken. There are still comic books that are selling for astronomical prices. Um, just depends on what book it is. Now, obviously, if you're trying to get a 9-8 of this, I don't know how many there is, but I would imagine seven or less. That's what I'm imagining. I'm going to imagine there's probably maybe 10 of these, but I doubt it. I would imagine somewhere between three and five, to be honest, but probably seven or less of this book. Not that many in a 9-8. I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm sure so I'm going to look it up and put it in the comments below. Um, but here's the thing with this kind of book, when someone gets a nine, eight, it's probably one of their favorite books in their collection. Um, so they're not going to get rid of it. So the reality is this book only comes up every once, every couple of years. So when it does, if there's two people who really want it, it's going to be bid up right up to 33,000. Next to Chamber of Chills, number 23. This is a very sought after zombie cover. A one, eight recently sold for 1800. That's up 33% from 1350, a 45 up 10% from 3600, uh, to 3600 from 3200, and a 90 is up 77% from back in 2022, selling for a little over 15,500, now selling for 27,500. Uh, th this book is very sought after, uh, people that collect horror, things like that. Um, horror books like this will always continue to go up because they're just so rare. They never come up that often, and there's actually quite a big group of people that like collecting these 1940s, 50s, 60s horror books. So these will always be this right. This one right here is probably in top five, top 10 of horror collectors. Uh, very cool book. Um, and it's just the way it works is, I mean, it's not like this a first appearance of anyone, you know, first appearance of uh, zombie man, things like that. It's, it's never with these horror books. There is no like, really like first appearance. There's occasional like the Crypt Keeper, things like that. But most of the time it's just people like the covers or there's something in the story that's unique, things like that. And that is solely based off just people's opinions of what they like. So it's not like first appearance of Spider-Man or anything like that. And that's why these books command a lot of values because a lot of people tend to collect certain ones and then they become people's grails and you know, then you get to show them off. You get happy that you get them. So it's interesting how that works. It's just like certain people go towards cover. So when it comes to horror, it's literally all about the cover. Um, also about the artist who drew that cover as well. That's pretty much it when it comes to these horror books. Like I said, there's occasional where there's something in the story that's cool or uh, it was used in the seduction of the innocents or maybe there's like a first appearance or something, but very rarely is that the case. It's mostly based off the cover and like the, then like the artist next. So that's like a kind of cool about the horror stuff. It's kind of unique compared to the superhero stuff in that way. Next we got is Amazing Spider-Man uh, 78, first appearance of Prowler. A 7.0 is up 29% from 233 to 300. A 9.0 is up 20% from 665 to 800. And a 9.2 is up... 47% from 532 to 780, not an all-time record by any means, but trending up because of the Spider-Verse movie that came out what, about a month ago. I'm not going to spoil it on here for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. I would recommend going seeing it. So if you haven't seen it, um, usually the way I, for the most part, the way I uh, deal with spo spoilers is, well, obviously I'll tell people spoils, but um, I'll stop saying that after the movie's already been released on whatever, streaming, home video, something like that for like a couple months. After that, if you haven't seen it then, I'm sorry. I am not the channel for you if you <laughs> don't want things spoiled because I'm just gonna talk about it willy-nilly, expecting that everyone has seen it. If you're watching this channel and, and it's been six months since it's been released, already out on streaming and all that kind of stuff, and you still haven't seen it, then I'm sorry. 
sorry. Um, I'm just gonna let things fly, how they fly. So I'm not gonna say too much about this book, um, but if this was six months from now, then I'll talk about it, and if it gets spoiled, it gets spoiled. So, but go see it. Go see it. Still in theaters. It'll probably come out in streaming in, I don't know, like a month. Like usually movies go from or the movie release to streaming in like two or three months. I, I honestly I think you go even rent it on Amazon. Usually Amazon, like you can rent movies when they're in the theater. So just go rent it on Amazon. Uh, it's like twenty dollars. Um, that's it. Have a good weekend.